it's Anna from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm going to go over just a little bit of how Design Space calculates height and width and how it may impact your project. So before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. All right, here we go. Yesterday I did a Design Space tutorial on a narwhal off the map project. I wanted to do it 23 inches. It was super simple. It's just a narwhal and a baseball bat that I'm adding from Design Space with a little bit of text. All in all, one of my more simple projects when it comes to off the map. Look at how many I had to do. It would not let me cut this file. So let me show you. Um, let's look at this one. I think this is the one. I'm gonna try to recreate that, that error message that I'm getting, okay? So I'm gonna go to Customize so that you can see. So what happened is, let me explain how Design Space calculates height and width. The logic is that for your width, it will calculate where your image hits the most left to where it hits the most right, and it just calculates that distance in between. It doesn't matter what shape your image is, um, it's just going most left, most right, and the height is the most top to the most bottom point of your image, and it calculates that distance. Normally, that's a great calculation. Where it's going to impact you is and it's still populating so i'm gonna pause it's gonna catch up where it's gonna catch up to us is sometimes when you have something that's really narrow like really skinny so you're able to go on the diagonal and get like a little bit more length in there um you know if you cut it right so like think of a baseball bat and if it's up straight up and down like this, it can be uh, 11 and a half inches, right? And I don't know, maybe by two inches. You can stretch it out and cut it on the diagonal of your 12 by 12 cardstock and actually go past 12 inches, right? Because it's narrow, you can make it diagonal and make it longer than 11 and a half inches and you should still be able to cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So sometimes, I'm gonna show you now. This baseball bat right here. When I brought it in, it was already at the diagonal. So design space right now will not recalculate your dimensions even though you may rotate it. So obviously right now this bat is not 16 inches by 16 inches, right? Because look at how thin it is. So the way to recalculate that is you click the unlock button. When you unlock it, it now recalculates it to 22 inches by two and a half inches. Let me see. Let's go to the make it screen and see if I'm still getting that red error that I was getting. It would not let me cut this project at all. Okay, good. <laughs> good okay now because I've already cut it. So you saw the red error message. It just takes you back to your canvas, right? So I ended up playing around with this quite a bit. I had to save it multiple times, but I saved the bat like this. So let's save as, and I don't know, it's, it's worked and it hasn't worked, but it's just something to, you know, I'm gonna put test 22 just so that I can remember. Okay. And if you scroll down here, you see we don't have any yellow warning signs, right? All right, fingers crossed. Let's see if I can make it this time. But I did it earlier and it worked and it let me cut it and I cut it. So just an additional, okay, so it didn't let me, it didn't, it just kills me. I'm gonna go back to the home page so that you can see it. I started shifting the bat around a bit and saving it, and then um, it let me cut it. So just something to have in your tool bag in case you get that red error message that just look to see if you have any objects that may be too big. And the logic worked on the, on the right-hand side panel because we didn't get a caution but it didn't work still. There was still something glitchy in there. So just give that a shot. I know it's out there, it's random, 
but I wanted to show you because I ended up resaving it. And let me see this. There's one that works, hopefully still. Um, fixed bat. So see, I saved it here. I don't know if it will work, but we will open up this project. I don't know. I don't know what to think at this point. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can see everything. Let's see what this says. This bat is still showing like that. I don't know what to think. I'm gonna unlock it though and we'll see. All right, let's see if this white one, this white one's fine. Let's go to make it. and it let me do it. So just something to have in your tool bag if you're running through trying to fix something. Um, I didn't wanna be on the phone with designs, you know, with, with the help desk. So, all right. Um, and I've had this happen one other time, which was why it made me think about the bat and switching it up. So, all right, I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna put this together, this simple project that has so not been simple. Okay, see you in a bit, thanks.